So we were here, perfect. Nobody, I was gonna do this recording for you. The wind has finally stopped. And now we are surrounded by people. And I suppose what they're gonna do is go to that one table. Of all the tables, the one that we were going to use. Oh, here's someone else gonna come join. That has been the story of this channel. I cannot find a place quiet in the, the woods before I get surrounded by the folks. And they come around and they, they don't give me any peace, any space. And they're not even, yeah, they're just gonna go take, you see, they're taking my table. I guess I could go play for him. See, if it's not the wind, it'll be the noise. And if it's not the noise, it's just people coming into the shot, turning their back to you, eating their foods. Well, I'm still waiting for this check from the government. And I'm like stuck in a parking lot now. And I'm awoken every morning by the upstairs neighbors at an ungodly hour. And it's because they tore up the insulation when they moved in. It's not my fault. It's not my fault I can't find a place where I won't get surrounded. See, so two of them stayed in the car. One of them went over there. They're taking up all the points. Here's someone coming up now behind me. We spent the whole morning in this little town that's got nothing. And now it doesn't even have little hidden gems where you could picnic alone and just play the cello without being disturbed. So I can't do it in my own house. I can't do it out in public. If I escape the trucks and the cars, even way up there in the Booney Hills, we got bike riders suddenly showing up making their noise. If we go way out there, like ghost town of Bodie, take the 395 scenic, that haunted ride where all the 70s icons are just dead skeletons in that desert. Anything that I was looking for from the 70s for this channel, to connect with how I was when I was 13 and what was going on. Well, this park, this Cathedral Oaks Park on Cathedral Oaks Lane, if you just walk right now that way, past that guy, past the creek, past the busy Cathedral Oaks Foothill Road, keep going, you're gonna walk through a um, a sheriff shooting range. They have a special shooting range that looks like a suburban neighborhood. And I guess they run around shooting at windows and stuff just in case one of us who live right there, I live in these condos that are right there in that zone. You've got the jail here. You've got the dump here. It's all public. You've got the county medical facilities that have been closed since COVID, right? But before COVID times, there were dust bunnies everywhere. I would always drive myself, even in an emergency, away from right there where I live, this low income housing. That the two neighbors upstairs moved in with two Lexuses valued at 60 grand a piece 
when most of us who live there are driving around in these crappy cars. To live there, you have to get the exact amount of I'm not making that much money. When you show up with two Lexuses, it doesn't look like you're not making any money or you maybe you have family members who invested in you. That's fine, but that's the value. See how now they're now there'll just be people walking, there'll be razors. This isn't Venice Beach. Now, when I went to Venice Beach, it was empty. It was a ghost town. Now it looks like it's going back to Jim Morrison days after it got more populated, at least on YouTube. So I know this thing, this stone that I took from Bodhi that you're not supposed to take things from that ghost town. It is bringing me bad luck, extreme. And this kind of stuff, I'm not gonna be able to do anything I had planned because I got this hanging around my neck. And there's that music gonna follow us too. I don't know why I'm bringing that up. I guess it's because I'm stuck in this rental car. Not excited about getting this other car back that should be really exciting. I miss that car. But they're, they're having trouble, right? They're learning that just replacing the entire motor wasn't the case, right? Now they're going, oh, you know that thing you were saying about the computer on board being messed up? So, but I should be getting really mad because on this car, it's a 2018, it was like the first of these Focus STs, a special limited edition, their manual, they're the only five-speed manuals, six-speed, excuse me, been a long time, six-speed manual that they made. And it's the only metallic, a, a certain metallic color, you can't find this, that they made for this particular car. And it has a black box, like the planes do. So it would show them everything that went wrong up to the point where the car went into flames, right? Instead, they didn't have the right computer thing. They don't know how to use the black box. So they went through this old system that's taking them forever. And they actually replaced it with a 2021 motor thinking, yeah, it's gonna make everyone happy. And now they're back to, oh, whoa, so you were saying that the brakes went out, really, when you were at high altitude. Do you see this story? I'm like, well, that's where it started. And they were like, no, 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 no. You were driving it without oil, right? And I said, no, 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 I explained. If you look at the black box, it's gonna tell you that the oil didn't have any trouble until the very end. The thing was on flames. Of course the oil is gonna show that there's a problem. Instead, they were like, it looks like you drove it without oil for a long time. They're just eyeing this thing. And they eyed, they finally found that there was a rodent that digged in, right? But I had told you this on the channel. It showed you and a year ago. We went under the hood and I said, see, this is where the rodents dug in. I wonder if that's going to be a problem. I hope they didn't bite any wires that might mess up the brakes. And that's what happened but they didn't believe the story. And they're only afterwards going, oh yeah, now we understand that there was a rodent. They're telling me all these things that I had already told them, but they were shaking their heads. And all they have to do is plug it into this black box. Why would the Ford company not want to use the highest tech technology to bring my daughter back to life? Instead, they're just throwing bionics on it, not knowing that this problem, it's electrical magnetic. There's an electrical magnetic problem that happens when you put a phone in, like I did, and you use the navigation, like I did. 
it messes up everything. There's a whole section in the owner's manual just talking about these electrical magnetic problems that could occur if you do this A, B, C, or D. I did the A right away because I was working for Lyft. They want this hand-free thing. You're not supposed to have the, the phone, right? Like what I do. It's supposed to be shoved into the dashboard which we do, it's, there's a whole, it's made for that. That car was made, it's all hands-free, it talks to you in French, it's, it's an amazing car. I was until it turns rogue, like in French going, Hal, qu'est-ce que tu fais, Hal, right? It was telling me that, Hal, what are you doing, Misha? Because I was using the hand brakes because the manual, uh, the regular brakes had gone out all of a sudden. The computer had just shut them down. It wasn't like they were broken down. It got some icing somewhere. There was it was very cold. It had, but it freaked and started sending all these bad things to the turbo, to the anything on it. The radio would go on and off. The it was it went crazy. All the dials went insane, and it was just the computer freaking out because I was going down this extreme slope, just using the handbrake and trying to downshift and it's telling me don't do that it's bad for the motor right it the computer started to react to me manually shutting it down going no 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 We're, this is too scary we're on this icy slope i can't stop right now we're in the dark why'd you turn the headlights off it's saving something over oh, there's a battery issue you know it's electrical now the problem yeah magnetical electrics and they should pay for that but instead I'm paying by just having this Ford learn the hard way as they're just throwing in money to a problem where oh, you're gonna have to buy the computer program that you need to get into the box to fix this car you're gonna see that and I just have to sit and watch them do it Look at that. Someone's even got the... I love the old school phone prompt. Or what is that app? Hello? Lincoln Insurance Company. That's what we would say. That was our, our joke. You know, you get the phone and you just right away go, Lincoln Insurance Company may help you. And they'd all, oh, it's the wrong number. And they'd hang up. And it was great. Now the person will go, yeah, can you pass me to, you know, oh, well, since I got you finally, my insurance. All right, we're ending at 13 before it gets way too stupid. Thank you.